Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, scholars and dignitaries, welcome to another episode. Welcome to my world. Hello, friends. So as you know, there have been many miracles reported throughout the years, literally thousands. And while many were able to be explained away, others remain even today as true mysteries, perhaps as graces and blessings bestowed by God in answer to our prayers and needs. And again, I've read and even heard eyewitness accounts about many of them. And of course, some I've questioned, but some I've come to fully accept as, well, let's just say the will of God. So that brings us to this story. Charles D. Focad was a monk also known as Brother Charles of the Community of Jesus, and he was born in Strasbourg, France on September 15, 1858. The story goes that sometime before Brother Charles died in 1916, he took a photograph of the Eucharist while it was exposed on the altar in his church. Now remember that Roman Catholics believe that the Eucharist, the communion wafer, is transformed to the actual body of Christ during the Mass. This happens through transubstantiation, and it then becomes the real presence of Jesus and is not merely a symbol of him from the Last Supper. And when the film was developed, he saw a picture of the child Jesus where the communion wafer should have been. Quote, the picture portrays the innocent child Jesus looking up to his loving Holy Father and praying on our behalf. And the surroundings shows that the child Jesus was actually in a poor carpenter's workshop. And then at a later time, Jesus told Brother Charles, quote, I promise to send my blessings and my peace to each home where this image is found. Now, there is a painting by an American painter, Charles Chambers, that either depicts the same photo or one very closely resembling it. So I'm not sure if this is really the picture that was blessed and chosen by Jesus himself or a replicated painting. But I do know that there are many reports online that state that Jesus, in fact, did appear to Blessed Charles and told him that he would give his blessings to all those who have this photograph in their home. So if this is true, if this is the case that somehow we have managed to capture an actual photograph of Jesus when he was a young boy, then you have nothing to lose by getting a picture of this child Jesus and placing it in a state of honor in your home. Hey, be safe, be well, and may God bless.